Hello, it's Helder here, and today I am in beautiful Portugal. I'm actually in a city called Chaves. And ever since I was a child, I would come to this fort. And it was just uh, one of my happy places, one of my relaxing places, whether I was walking, whether I was jogging, or whether I just needed to think. So this has always been an important place for me. And one of the things that I had thought about over the last couple years, ever since I started using the Wicked Edge sharpeners, was the fact that my grandmother had a few knives here that she had used forever. And they bring back vivid memories. And this is one of them right here. Nothing very special about it, besides the fact that it was grandma's and grandma used it forever. And uh, it's basically a knife made here in Portugal, stainless steel, and you find them in many of the homes in this area. Now, this knife was in ridiculously bad shape, extremely dull, but once again had a lot of sentimental value. So I always thought about it, and this year I decided to bring my Wicked Edge 120 with me to Portugal to sharpen the family knives. And I wanted to come to my special place, bring grandmother's special knife, and my Wicked Edge and relax while I sharpen and think of the good memories that grandma had left me. If you want to follow my little mini adventure here, stay tuned. So I'm getting myself set up here, ready to sharpen my knife. And once again, I'm not going to go into all the details because I did make a uh, relatively comprehensive video on the WE120. So if you do want to check that out, be sure to take a look now and I will link it in the top right as well as in the comments below. I brought three sets of these stones with the grits that I knew I would need for this knife. And I'm basically starting at 100 and going to end at 1000 grit. So I'll go ahead and mark my edge here with the marker so that I'm sure to set the right angle for sharpening this knife. Once again, I go into much more detail on this on my previous video, so make sure you check them out. Okay, so let's go ahead with the finer grit, find our angle, just starting here, seeing if that's coming off. Need to adjust a little bit more here towards the outside, finding the better angle. Still working on that angle. And that is looking pretty good right there. Taking that marker right off that top edge of this knife. So now that we found our correct angle, let's go ahead and set up both sides and start sharpening. So I'm starting with the 100 grit stones and I'm going to make a few passes here. Once again, this is the roughest grit stone that I brought. And with the condition of this knife, it is certainly needed. Okay, that's pretty good there. Let's switch over to the 200 grit stones and make a few passes there. Okay, go ahead, feel for some, any burrs. Okay, it's coming along nicely. I think it's time for us to switch to a higher grit stone. Now keep in mind, Wicked Edge always recommends that as soon as you're done and switching out your stones, be sure to go ahead and wipe them down. That way you don't contaminate anything that you're working with, especially the other stones. So always wipe them down in between switching out your stones. Okay, so I'll head over now to the 400 grit. And let's get to it. There we go, I'm already starting to feel much, much smoother. Getting that edge where it needs to be, and as far as I'm concerned, where it deserves to be. Okay, let's give that a feel. Like 
good. No burrs, nothing ex excess here. And getting extremely sharp. Okay, switching over to the 600 grit now. And let's check it out here. Here we go, getting that great edge. Definitely relatively sharp already. The knife most likely for everyday use would be good to go as it is right now. But since I do have my higher grit stones, I'm gonna go ahead and give them a few more passes just to make that edge a little bit more wicked. So let's switch our stones out for a higher grit once again making sure to wipe them down go ahead moving on to the 800 grit here and let's get started Okay, let's give that a feel here. Okay, that's feeling pretty good. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and finish it off with the thousand grit stone. Smooth. Starting to feel like butter. Just a couple more passes. Let's check that out. Oh, that's feeling good. That is definitely done. Let's go ahead and remove our knife. It is good to go. I'm sure that my grandmother would be proud. Grandma's knife has an extremely wicked edge on it now. This is Helder. I hope that you enjoyed this video.